even do? What can you what? do to stop what this man? Do? What is he doing? What is he? What is going on? Vaxi just defending his status as just the goat. There is no doubt he has been the best player in the tournament scene. The best player in this tournament. How the f can Vaxi even play this? Malice is running on an absolute performance here. He just does things like. Vaxe and Malashevsky are undoubtedly two of the greatest tournament players Osu has ever seen. Both of them have reached historic levels of play and left a legacy that will forever remain untouched. Vaxe went on by far the longest Osu tournament winning streak of all time, and after he won hiatus, Malashevsky took the throne as the tournament god, and today, the tournament scene revolves around him. These two alone have dominated their own eras of the tournament scene. Anytime that these two entered a tournament, they were always the overwhelming favorite to win it all because their skills are so well-rounded and consistent, it's nearly impossible for them to lose. For the longest time, the community at large wanted to see these two face off to finally determine who the true tournament god was. But the reality is, no one truly expected that these two would ever match up against each other. But that's exactly what makes this moment so special. On May 20th, 2023, Vaxe and Malashevsky would play in by far the most hyped up Osu match of all time to a live audience of thousands of viewers with more than a thousand dollars on the line. This moment felt magical, because everyone knows that something like this will never happen ever again. Because what needed to take place for this to happen in the first place was incredible. The Osu tournament scene has produced some of the most iconic moments in Osu history and allowed for some of the greatest players of all time to shine on the brightest stage. Being able to set scores on your own time is one thing, but being able to perform on command across every skill set in the game with all eyes on you is what separates the great players from the legends. Osu has seen its fair share of stars come and go, but the first player to truly cement himself as the undisputed number one tournament player in the world was Vaxe. Prior to 2018, Vaxe already amassed a respectable tournament resume, as he already had five tournament badges to his name. But 2018 was when he would take things to a whole new level. Following a second place finish at 111 Ultra, Vaxe would go on a historic stretch of dominance that will truly never be beaten. He would go on a tournament winning streak that spanned across three years, earning him 11 first place badges in the process. His streak spanned across even some of the biggest Osu tournaments in the game's history, including three OWC titles in a row, wins that drenched program in the perennial 2021, and finally capping it off with a victory at the Yuki AIM tournament. From June 2018 all the way to the end of 2021, Vaxe never lost a single tournament he played in, and there was no one even close to challenging his spot on top of the tournament world. With this crazy stretch of untouchable tournament prowess, Vaxe solidified himself as one of the greatest Osu tournament players of all time, with many people considering him to be the GOAT of Osu tournaments. Technically speaking, his tournament streak is still alive today. However, Vaxe has not competed in any Osu tournament since 2021. It was a bit disappointing that his tournament reign would come to an abrupt end like this, but we didn't have to wait long for someone else to take his place at the top, because as one tournament god disappeared, another emerged from the shadows and continued where he left off. As Vaxe went inactive in the tournament scene in 2021, Malashevsky emerged as the top tournament threat, and today, he's regarded as the absolute best tournament player in the world. The fact that someone could replicate the levels of dominance that Vaxe displayed seemed impossible to everyone, but Malashevsky silenced those doubts with his incredible tournament play. Malashevsky would earn his first tournament badge with a third place finish at Corsi's Open 2021, and since then, he burst onto the tournament scene and left everyone behind in his wake. He has earned 20 first place badges from 2021 up to today, including wins at OC Polish Masters 2021, the Perennial 2022, Charlie's Perfect Math Class, and back-to-back -back wins at Pandemonium Intercontinental Showdown in 2022 and 2023, among others. With 26 badges to his name, Malashevsky already stands as one of the most decorated OSU players of all time, and he isn't stopping anytime soon. With his level of dominance, people began to draw comparisons between him and Vaxe, and soon enough, the endless debates began. With the uncanny resemblance between these two tournament legends, several debates started that were centered around one question. Who would win in a 1v1 tournament match, Vaxe or Malashevsky? Regardless of what side you argued for, everyone wanted to see this match become a reality. However, the truth was, it seemed like this was never going to happen. Vaxe already has a reputation for taking breaks for extended periods of time, but his most recent hiatus that started in 2022 lasted longer than usual. His absence would last for 14 straight months, but all of a sudden, on April 15th, 2023, Vaxe would make his grand return and it was as if he never left in the first place. While this was an incredible event on its own, it didn't mean that he and Malashevsky would face each other in a tournament-like setting. Just because Vaxe returned to playing the game did not mean he was returning to the tournament scene, but people kept on clamoring for the dream match to happen. With Vaxe's return, it meant we were closer than ever to seeing this match become a reality, and soon enough, our wishes would be answered just a few days later. On April 20th, the Osu All-Stars Twitter account would tweet out this blurred picture with basically unreadable text. 
But if you look closer, you can faintly make out what this text says. Vaxe versus Malashevsky. All of a sudden, everyone started to freak out. And a week after, the official announcement was made. Vaxe and Malashevsky would be playing in a show match against each other live on Twitch with a winner-take-all prize on an incredibly difficult map pool, and no one would have it any other way. This quickly turned into one of the most hyped-up Osu events of the year. The perfect storm of events that turned this match into a reality miraculously happened, and now the stage was set. Could Vaxe shake off two years of tournament rust to prove that he was still the absolute greatest? Or will Malashevsky show that he is truly the one tournament threat that everyone should fear? Everyone patiently waited for the time to go by. And finally, it was time. Welcome to the much-awaited Vaxe versus Malashevsky show match. On May 20th, Vaxe and Malashevsky would meet up in the match lobby, and the stakes were clear. Two of the best tournament players of all time on a crack-ass map pool. First to seven. $1,140 on the line, thousands of people watching, and one match to decide it all. And what followed truly lived up to the hype that this match promised. The match started off with both players winning their first picks. Malashevsky picked first and won his pick on Hidden 1 to start things off, and Vaxe would respond with winning his pick on Nomad 4. Then all of a sudden, the match suddenly amplified the pressure for the players, the commentators, and the viewers. With a 1-1 tie, Malashevsky's next pick was Hidden 4, which is akin to his strengths as a hidden mate, but Vaxe was always on his heels and brought things too close for comfort. Vaxe was bringing things back towards the end of the map with a combo advantage, however, a costly break would give Malashevsky the map win and a 2-1 lead. And the next map somehow proved to be even more insane than this. Looking for an answer, Vaxe's next pick was Nomad 5, and he would jump out to a slight lead thanks to his massive opening combo but a huge chain of misses and accuracy drops brought Malashevsky right back into the map. Malashevsky now had both the accuracy and combo advantage heading into the final stretches of the map, and he brought things back to dead even before he broke. And well, you have to see how this plays out for yourself. Be enough to edge it out over Malashevsky's accuracy lead. It is almost 4%, but Vaxe's early combo, wait a minute, he finds another drop in the ending. Malashevsky has a combo, of 100 combo lead. Spin to win! It's a, it's a spin to win! Vaxe the map came all the way down to the final spinner, but Vaxe would survive his pick to tie the match at two apiece by a margin of just 1,146 points. It was only map 4, but everyone was already freaking out, and there was no time to process what just happened because both players dove headfirst into playing out this already chaotic match. Malashevsky would regain the lead at 3-2 after a convincing win on his next pick. Vaxe was up to pick next, and this was a turning point in the match. Vaxe's third pick of the match was Hard Rock 2, which everyone thought that he would win pretty easily, but Malashevsky would end up taking the first break point of the match by 20,000 points to give himself a 4-2 lead. He would capitalize on this to extend his lead to 5-2 on his next pick, making it three map wins in a row for the Polish prodigy. Vaxe would halt Malashevsky's momentum with a nice win on his own pick to cut the lead to 5-3, but Malashevsky held strong and put himself at match point with a 6-3 lead on his next pick. Now he was one map win away from winning it all, and it felt similar to his current stretch of dominance where he would just run over everyone from start to finish. But remember who his opponent is. As the saying goes, champions never go out quietly, and as everyone started to count out Vaxe, he began to make a run of his own. Vaxe would win his next pick on DT4 to keep him alive and bring the score to 6-4, but Malashevsky still had one map pick left at his disposal to close things out right then and there. He chose DT2, which was Kimi no Kyoku, and in the blink of an eye, this match was turned upside down. Both players would hold their combos past the 1000 combo mark, but then Malashevsky would find a miss, and his fate on this map was sealed in that instant. Everyone knew that Vaxe was going to run away with this map win. It was just a matter of when Vaxe would break. But then he kept on holding on, and all of a sudden, it became a matter of if he will break. And if you didn't believe it before, Vaxe was truly back, because he did this. Vaxe is going to take us to his last pick, looking for the tiebreaker. No way he has sees this though, at this point that is the last thing we're looking at. Vaxe holding on with a 1780 combo, can Vaxe show why once again that he is the GOAT? Why he is widely considered the greatest tournament player of all time. What that is this actually video? wild. Warm no ups? Way. Yeah, let no me let way. me ask you Candyland and warm ups. Oh yeah, Kimi no Kyoko double time? I remember this map. This used to be a tiebreaker back in my day. Let's play a DT and let he me get that answer. 
Let he me get that FC too. He does not care! That is absolutely nuts from Vaxe. Vaxe would take his first break point of the match in ludicrous fashion with an FC on Kimi no Kyoku, and everyone was going insane. They had every reason to, because this play was the Osu Tournament PP record. Now the momentum swung in Vaxe's favor as he brought things back to 6-5 with one last pick to force tiebreaker. His final pick of the match was Nomad 2, where the first break on the streams of the coming fire would prove to be detrimental. Vaxe was the one who broke first, but there was still plenty of map left, but it all rested on Malachewski's shoulders to close out the match, but a few chain misses brought Vaxe back into it. However, Vaxe couldn't really hold a sizable combo, and once again, it was coming down to the map's final moments. Was it all over, or would we see the tiebreaker? Malachewski needs to hold on if he wants to avoid a tiebreaker, but it is all coming down to this ending section. Malachewski finds another chain miss! His accuracy has just gone so far down into the dumps! Vaxe holds on, but the lead it looks slow to go back. Vaxe finds a drop. The map is very quickly starting to wind down, though, and the lead is still 60,000. Vaxe, you cannot afford to break there. There might not be any more time with this low of a combo. It's going to take chain misses from Malachevsky. If he finds a miss on a whole, like, 32-note stream, it might be doable for Vaxe, but he needs to hold, and Malachevsky needs to drop, and that is not going to happen. Vaxe is the one to drop instead. And Malashevsky now almost 100,000 score up on this Nomad 2 by the end of the match. His stamina recovered. The curse intact for Malashevsky to continue winning against many of the greatest players of all time and looking to dethrone Vaxe as the greatest tournament player of all time. A spot on the throne finally opening up. In the end, Malachewski overtamed Vaxe's attempt at a miraculous comeback to win the match 7-5, $1,140, and ended an era of dominance. Vaxe's streak was no more. This was the first time Vaxe lost a match in a 1v1 tournament setting since 2018 where he lost to Bubble Man at 111 Ultra. And 1,805 days later, Malachewski was the one who finally brought an end to his reign. Malachewski brought an end to an era of dominance we will never see again and the torch of the true tournament god had officially been passed on. This was an incredible match to witness, not just because of the entertainment value of the match itself or the implications this match had, but because for the rest of time, the legacy of this match will never be forgotten anytime soon.